Welcome, my name is Chris. I'm one of the software designers for WMDict. Today I want to show you the WMDict Windows Mobile Client. WMDict is available on the Windows desktop as well as a Windows Mobile application. It is a multi-language dictionary and we designed this program out of personal need. We're trying to learn many languages and we wanted a tool that was fast, reliable, that we could have with us on the road as we're learning a language. I'm going to show you the Windows Mobile client and many of the features that are available in Windows Mobile are also available on the desktop. So a lot of what you'll learn here will apply on the desktop. As you can see we're inside Windows Mobile now running the WMDict client and the focus is on the search tab. I can actually start typing my the word that I want to look up. Let's look up the word water for a Chinese translation. As I type you can see that WMDict begins to immediately search to match all the possible words that I've typed in. So we see uh, water, water bill, water clock. On the left hand side here is the translation or the available list of terms and on the right is the translation. And I can scroll through the list. If I want to go to another word I just hit clear and let's type in the word welcome. And you can see again WMDict begins to look it up. Now I happen to be running a Windows Mobile device that has a hardware keyboard so I actually don't need the built-in software keyboard. Let me turn that off and we can utilize more of the screen space. WMDict is very flexible. If you want to use the built-in software keyboard, if you have a hardware keyboard, no problem. You can also customize the appearance under menu, customize. You can now control the size and display of the fonts that are used inside WMDict. And the reason we let you do this is everybody kind of is able to see in a different way. And additionally, different devices display things with different quality. So we wanted to give you a little bit of control so that you could customize the experience for yourself. So again, I'm using a hardware keyboard here. Let me hit clear. Let's go back to the word water. Now I see the translation for water in Chinese. It has the Chinese character and the pinyin. I can click on the focus tab. The focus tab basically focuses my attention on whatever translation is selected under search. This is very useful to be able to see information in uh, larger text. In addition, if you want to show the translation to somebody else, it's going to be easier for them to read off your device. And again, even this part of the program is customizable. As you use WMDict, a lot of times you'll come across a word or translation that you want to look up. For example, I'm going to select this pinion here. And I'm going to pull up the context menu by basically holding the mouse down or my stylus and I get a list of possible options. I can copy the current selection, I can copy the whole term that's in the window, but also we see here lookup selection and add selection to lookup. Let's see what that does. I'm going to click lookup selection and now what happened is WMDict copied in the pinion over here and searched for also all possible matches. So again, I can select, select a word lookup selection and I look up another word. So it makes it pretty easy to search for a word and then to look up additional information based on the definitions. You can even do something like this. Let's, let's select this and now I'm going to do add selection to look up. And what you see here is current forward slash the pinion forward slash. This forward slash basically tells WMDict I want to look up multiple words at a time. So Let's scroll our list here. All, of course, there's a lot of words that start with current show up, but now we see our pinion starting to show up. Another useful feature in the context menu here is create task. Now I'm not going to click on this, but what this will do is actually create a task inside your Outlook calendar. Now why is this useful? Maybe you're on the road and you learn a new word and you want to do something with it later. Well you create task and it all appears a task in your task list and you can review the, la the word later at a convenient moment for you. You'll also notice create flashcard. 
I'm not going to demonstrate this right now, but there is a flashcard program called Full Recall that has both a Windows desktop client and a Windows mobile client and our program integrates with that. So it provides a nice way to not only use WMDict as a dictionary but also as a learning tool because you can create flashcards. And interestingly, Full Recall uses a really wonderful technique. It's called uh, incremental learning. So you don't get tested every single day on every word in your flashcard list. It intelligently tests you from day to day. But what I want to show you now is the Add to My Word List feature. I'm going to click that. And what that did is, you might notice down here there's another tab called My List. It added my current term and definition to a personal list of words I want to keep track of. So let's go ahead and add a couple words. I'm going to hit Clear. Again, let's look up Water. Add to My Word List. Let's look up another word. Welcome. Add to My Word List. If I go back to My List, we now see that there's multiple words in the list and basically WMDIC stacks them on top. The last word you added is on the top and then the previous one and the previous one before that. So it gives you a really nice way to keep track of words that you're trying to learn and to come back and work with them later. You can of course always remove words from the list and manage it. In conclusion I want to show you the resources tab here. The resources tab contains all the dictionaries you have installed. WMDict by default on the Windows Mobile does not install any dictionaries, just the piece of software. You have to download the dictionary separately and install them. But once they're installed, you'll see a list here and you can actually control which dictionaries are enabled. Currently I have the uh, Chinese English dictionary installed with character support, English to Chinese, and Pinyin to English. So again, I have even more granular control. Actually, let's just do a little test here. I want to show you one more feature. Let's go back to the search tab. And let's say you're looking at a translation and you see two interesting characters here. And you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'd like to see if those characters are used anywhere else. I'm going to copy them. And now I'm going to go down here and turn on advanced search. Now, 99% of the time you use the general search that I've been showing you so far. But every once in a while, you actually want to search into the terms and definitions themselves for any match. Now, we're going to copy and paste those characters, and I'm going to tell WMDIC to search all definitions for any occurrence of these two characters together. We'll hit the Go button, and you get a little message, please wait, advanced search is in progress, this can take a while. We really have optimized the search experience in WMDIC for what we do most of the time. But when you do advanced search, we're actually doing a bulk search deep into the data and this actually can take a little longer. So this is not a feature you're going to use uh, every time you want to search WMDIC, but when you're researching words or characters or, or similar things to that, you're going to want to use the advanced search feature. But patience is a virtue. While this is running, I might explain a few other things. Uh, there's additional settings that allow you to control keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we've already shown you how to customize font settings. And in addition, you can control the integration with full recall. All right, WMDict has just finished its search for those characters. And it, what it's showing us here is a list of every term where those two characters were found. and you'll see that it puts these little brackets around the text uh, where the term is found so you can kind of quickly identify it in a search. Again, this is really just a research tool. And the advanced search is quite a bit is quite flexible. It allows you to do different things. You can actually do wildcard searches and various pattern searches and that's documented in the help. Well, thank you for watching the quick tour of WMDIC for Windows Mobile. In the future, we'll be providing some additional videos on how to install WMDIC as well as how to use the full recall, full recall flashcard integration. Thank you very much.